Welcome to the second in a series of videos demonstrating the capabilities of Nintex workflows. Hi, I'm Dean Virag, and in this video, I'm going to go over the Actions Toolbox section of the interface. Let's begin. On the left side of the screen in the Nintex Workflow Designer is the Actions Toolbox section. This is where you'll find all the actions that can be added to a workflow. It's important to note that the actions displayed may change depending upon the services that have been subscribed to in the store. The first category is integration. The integration actions allow you to connect to other data sources, such as web services and XML. The next category is libraries and lists. The libraries and lists actions allow the workflow to interact with lists and libraries. From this category, you can check items in and out, copy documents, create list items, set fields, update list items, and much more. You'll notice the Office 365 actions. Those are available because we are subscribed to the Office 365 lists and libraries actions from the Nintex store. The next category is logic and flow. The logic and flow category contains branching and logic actions. Here you can add conditional branching and loops, set state actions, set elevated permissions, and terminate the current workflow. The next category is operations. The operations category contains actions that allow you to add time to a date, work with a dictionary of variables, log items into the history list, pause the workflow, set the workflow status, and set workflow variables. The next category is provisioning. The actions in the provisioning category allow you to interact with cloud solutions such as Amazon EC2, Microsoft Azure, Office 365, and Rackspace. There are also actions that allow you to interact with Yammer accounts and groups. The next category is social. The social category will only appear if certain actions have been subscribed to from the Nintex store. The actions in the social category allow you to interact with Yammer messages and Yammer profiles. The next category is user interaction. The actions in the user interaction category allow you to assign tasks, send emails, and start a task process. And the final category is Utility. The actions in the Utility category allow you to work with strings and substrings. You can also find the interval between two dates, a really helpful feature. So that's it for the Actions Toolbox section. In the next video, we're going to complete our tour of the interface by discussing the Designer Canvas. Thanks for watching.